Ray is a finalist. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Our fourth <laughs> is none other than Fat Jimmy. Come on down. Yeah. Yeah, now here's the problem. Our fifth is a two-way tie between two very good RPers, which is Jufa and Port. So we oh. need to do a poll in mm. chat now so that you guys can pick. Alright, no XDDing. You guys get to choose. I'm pretty sure uh, either way, one of them are going to uh, make it in one way or another. But who is the next one to make it in? Is it Jufa or is it Port? Okay. Both well, going pretty well. Pretty good. Look at this. A couple of oldies up here. Old How about her? Your knee's cracking. Mine are cracking pretty bad. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> Alright, let's get some nice... Let's get our dramatic music going. Alright, and the next person to make it in is Port. That is our chat top five. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. The chat top five, all right? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, I need you guys to go back there with all those other uh, people back there, all right? Because now the judges have to pick two each, okay? So here's going to be our, uh, our, our order. Thank you, Kyle Carew Bray. Uh, I'm going to go first, all right? I'm going to just get mine out of the way. All right, Lost, you're gonna go second. <laughs> Schmoopy, you're gonna go third. Allman, you're gonna go fourth. And then Faye, we're gonna save you for last, you. all right? You're gonna be the last one. That's right. You're gonna get the final, you know what? Actually, Schmoopy, you're gonna go last, okay? I, I want Schmoopy to go last, because I want Schmoopy to be the judge of RP character at the end, okay? So it'll be me, Lost, Allman, Faye, Schmoopy, all right? That's the order, all right? Here we go. All right, well, my first save. Hmm. I'm gonna do this uh, mostly based off of the chat vote, picking them next because they were pretty much tied. All right, and I do think that they are a great RP -er. I think they have a lot to offer in this competition. Uh, I will choose Jufa. Jufa uh, did good, Ooh, made it that far. And and you know what? I will say yeah. that Jufa got robbed in that dancing competition because th that those dancing skills were fucking amazing. All right, so that Bye. was a big rub. All right, a very big rub. All right, thank you, Jalumpho. Look at them go. All right, and then the next one I'm going to choose. Hmm. Who gave me a lot of content, was funny, and creative, and did well today. I am going to choose... Keep hitting me. It's making me think. I'm going to choose J-Rose. I really like J-Rose's character today. Yay! I think he did a really good job. Yay! I think he popped off today, J-Rose. All right, those are my two. All right, next up, I think I said was Losty, right? All right, Losty, what two are peers stuck out for you Where today? Where do I go? You go with everyone else over there. Uh, Martha, what was your name again? How many Marthas were there? All right, go ahead, Losty. All right, your first vote is four. Chi Chi Lee which is a great vote. Good job, Chi Chi. Welcome to the top 15. Did really well today. 
Good job. All right. Losty, who is your second vote for for today? Big LZ. All right, Lazzy. Congratulations on making it to the top 15. Nice. You guys got to cheer, guys. Yeah, let's go, Big O. All right. All men, big responsibility here. There's a lot of really good RPers out there. All right. But only six more can make it through. Which ones do you choose? So, uh, I tried to be fair and give everyone, uh, attention tonight. Um, but the two people that consistently made me laugh every time I visited them and was, uh, let's see here, Heads Up and Turtwig. All right, Heads Up and Turtwig, congratulations, all right? You guys made it through. <laughs> All right, congratulations. All right, Faye, you get two. Hey, it's tough. It's tough. There's a lot of people out there. There's a lot. All of my top people got taken. Um, okay. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the barrel, I guess. Um, <laughs> I tried to do it. I actually tried to do it. Whoa, there's, I mean, there's some my top tier. I mean, there's some one. finalists from last season in this in this audience, in this group. My first pick is going to be June B. Even though June B joined the late. I thought they did really good, so and Plum Picking Call Me a Sim. All he wants. Yeah. I think June B deserves to be a finalist. Okay. So Jimby, go on the stage. You are a Jimby son. Alright. And then next. Yeah. They're fucking good. Okay. And then my second pick. Yeah, I think that Discount did really good. Uh, Dento is a great RPR, but had a I choose hero. mid character. <laughs> Yeah. For real, let's go. Yeah. You're serious? Everyone loves Gamping yeah. Poppy. <laughs> okay. All right. And then our last two will be from Schmoopy. There was a lot of really good characters. Um, I thought everyone did a really good job. Well, most of you guys did a really good job. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to do something. Can I do something? Can I eliminate someone? Yeah, you can eliminate someone, sure. Oh my god. Uh, look, there's no easy way of saying this. Um, we can probably find like a better RP character in a public lobby. Matt, get out of here. <laughs> All right, Matt, you're eliminated from the competition entirely. You didn't make it into the finals <laughs> or the semifinals. Jesus Christ! All right, who are the? Uh... Hi, Jufa. Good to see you. So, anyways, um, the first choice for being saved. You brought out multiple characters. You had different voices, very different character traits. Also, some lore. For that reason, Dento, you were saved. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. One, one last vote. There's a lot of people I think did really, really, really well here. This is uh, this is Again, scary. Yeah, it, it's actually incredibly tough to choose because there were a lot of really good characters and a lot of people did really, really well. Uh, my final save. You pulled out again multiple characters different voices different character traits i felt like you bounced off people you interacted with pretty well my final selection dun, 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 winged dun, dun, flow dun. winged flow interesting that's good because i didn't get to see winged flow as much there so 
All right. Listen, guys. I'd like to make an honorable mention if I could, Robert. Ma make an honorable mention. I will also make some honorable mentions. But go ahead. Uh, Chris Dasa, you absolutely killed it. Where are you? Chris Dasa, over here. Yeah. Chris Dasa, you did He's great, bud. This is so funny, dude. Thank I you, give the man. avatar. He said, what yeah, do I Chris do? Chris was really this? funny, actually. My honorable mentions. Uh, this was really funny. XCon made me laugh. Okay, discount. I actually liked your character a lot. Um, my other honorable mention, uh, Lavender, you were pretty cute. Twiddles fingers together. All right, and then that's uh, those are my those are my special honorable <laughs> mentions. Steven, I also like that you hosted that show. That was fucking sick. I actually thought you were gonna make it in based off that alone. Okay. However, the judges and the audience were the voice today. All right. If I was to choose a top fifteen, it'd probably be a little bit different. But that's the nature of competition shows. Not always everyone makes it who everyone wants to make it. Uh, I have my opinions, everyone else has theirs. And thank you guys all for competing. The top 15, congratulations though. And uh, yes, you can add a comment. You are my favorite. <laughs> Thanks, Jufa. Does that mean I made it? Of course, my number one. All right. Thank you, Mwah. And also, uh, final. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how the fi how the finals are gonna go. Okay, the finals are next week. It's gonna be three different uh, uh, scenes. One is gonna be fantasy themed, so come up with a fantasy character. One is gonna be space themed, so come up with a space character. And uh, one is gonna be general, like suburban, like themed. So come up with a general suburban themed character, okay? And that is gonna be how uh, it's gonna go. So yeah, uh, hopefully, uh, no, not in that order. I don't know the order yet. I'm gonna figure it out based off the maps and how I wanna do things, okay? But you'll need three characters for that. Uh, after every round, five people get eliminated. At the end, it's gonna be the final five and uh, one winner will choose. The winner of Content Wars gets to get the flex of being the best RP in the lobby, gets a piece of art commissioned, and uh, also gets their uh, picture up on the wall with a with the title of uh, best RP. Uh, in the hotel, I want to have like a wall of fame. It's going to be Port's picture first, and then whoever wins uh, this season will be next to Port. If it's Port again, then there'll be oh, two pictures cool. of Port up there. All right. Hey yo, yo. So uh, yeah. yeah this will be... <laughs> nice. It could be you. It could be you. Alright. Yeah, Good luck, guys. Good luck. Alright. The rest of you guys, you're actually free. You don't have to deal with this bullshit anymore. You never have to deal with uh, content wars until next season. Congratulations. You're free. I'll do a hangout world if anyone wants to hang out for a little bit, alright? I'll do a hangout world. And we'll do some, uh, we'll do some interviews. Also, hi, Flitz. You look very cute. I like your Christmas outfit. Very, very, you know, I, I, that's a good gift. I'd unwrap that gift. All right, let's go. I'm dropping a portal. Chad, I can't think of a map to go to, man. I can't help that they're all yappers. There's like a hundred yappers here. It's tough. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Please, 
Yeah, that's good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. We'll go here. Oh, that's only 32 slots. We're about to kill this show. There, chat. I fixed it, alright? What do you mean, what? We would have killed from like a bit of decent amount cards. of people. I need, I got cocked, man. I got cocked. Can I pick him up? Kill the Serenity Cove. Nice map, 60 slots. Uh, Pretty good. Hey, hey, Portal. Alright. What do I think about Fae Picks? Uh, who did Faye pick besides Firo? Jumbi and Firo? I mean, okay, but I, I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe they saw things that we didn't see. I didn't like Firo's character at all. Jumbi is a good RPer. Jumbi might have definitely done some things that we missed, but God, I did not like Firo's character at all. But maybe, maybe Firo killed it when I wasn't watching. I don't know. I mean, we could ask Faye why they did that. We thought Firo's was insanely... I thought that character was very poor, yes. I, I thought that Firo has pulled out much better characters in the past. Jimby ran over a guy with a force. Please ask the other judges how they thought about it. Sorry, me and Chad are talking about votes. Oh, all right. We should play this. I don't know. I found play what? You. Play this every Saturday. <laughs> We should play this. Yeah, but like on streaming. Play what on stream? What you're standing on? Never have the I game ever. We're standing on. You want me to expose yeah. myself to these viewers? But it could be like silly. Like I don't know. They could. They could play this in character. In character? Like RP play it? Well, people want to know the dirt on the real people. That's what they want. They want to know who Mika Moonlight's yeah, sleeping with. Yeah, they don't care about her pee dirt. Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Damn, Mika, that's a nice bikini. I want to know all about Mr. Rhombus. You know everything about me, don't you? Who would have been your top 15, Rob? Yes. My top 15? Uh, okay, I'll tell you right now, okay? It would have been you, okay. Vincent... Fat Jimmy, Port, Jufa, Ooh. Chi Chi, Heads Up, J Rose, Discount, um, Discount did great tonight. Yeah, Discount got kind of robbed in, in my honest opinion. I would actually have picked XCon, <laughs> uh, Thieven. Yeah, XCon. That was good. Oh my um, gosh. Um,. Mika Moonlight. I actually would pick Mika Moonlight and Lavender Bunny. I like their little feud. It gave, it created a story. I would have picked yeah. Mika. She was RPing with me all night as my protege. The thing she did on stage was what I taught her. She's just going up and down the stairs in a montage. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. Uh, Turtwig. Let's go. I'm Grampy Pappy. <laughs> and... character was so stupid. Did I pick Tanny? I did pick Tanny, didn't I? I? Not yet. Not yet? Did okay, you? it would be between... I don't think so. My last one would be between Tanny and Vraid because... Number one, I've seen Kyo RP so many times that I'm desensitized to it. A million people have done that for me. <laughs> but also, uh, the only reason... Listen, I think actually Tanny can do a lot better where is Tanny? Tanny, where are you? I think Tanny could do a lot better, but Tanny was one voice today. <laughs> Tanny was very one voice are you today. At this? I am watching. This. Oh, 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 hey, what's up? Go back to it, man. You're kicking your little feet like a toddler. <laughs> it's really funny. It's going like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm joined, uh, you had such a good job, so they even... I was your number one?! I did. Yeah. You made me laugh a lot. Thanks, man. You, like, you stand out a lot. Oh, thanks. I hopefully make it to the top I tried to. five. But Port, I got the courage. I Port, to make Port was really good. Port had a lot of good characters. I believe in you, Vinny. I want to save it for next week. Firo, with all due respect, I hated that character. I hated that character. I think you're a great <laughs> RP. -er. Yes, Firo. I hated that character. Maybe you know I just came in at the worst times. 
No, I thought it was the worst <laughs> character you ever did. Like, I think you're a great RP. -er. Oh, I no. thought that was not it. That's why I that maybe me and maybe me just call you at the worst times because I think because dude, every time I came up, you just walked in, like said some kind of like vulgar thing and walked away. And I was like, okay, what's the character? Uh, but maybe I just caught you at bad times. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, Maybe uh, Faye saw something face. I didn't. I didn't check it. Like, huh? Different experiences, Rom. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's it, it, it must have been different experiences. But keep in mind, like that's just this because is based off my experiences alone. Theme, I would not have put in mine. Okay, who who would you have not put in in my top fifteen? I don't want to start drama. <laughs> Pussy. Say it now! Do it. It's okay. okay. From my vision. personal perspective, I think that Lavender Bunny did the worst tonight. Like, literally, Ooh. like, did not. Well, it was a yeah. first. Yeah, I and mean, I will tell you why. <laughs> I will tell you why. I agree. Every time I came up to you in a group setting, you didn't, like, talk to anybody you just kind of like stood there and i think it's because like you were like shy maybe but every time i came up to you and like watched you it was just like and then anytime someone Fair tried enough. to like get you to do something you would say oh i don't want to do it or oh like i don't i'm not gonna do it and i feel like with rp you kind of have to like go with things to keep things going and so you have like interactions and I always caught you kind of looking lost. Like, you did have a really good moment with Mika a few times. But other than that, it was just like, he just looked lost, like, all the time. And so maybe, like, other people, like, Rob, like, actually saw you interacting. But it was like, every time I saw you, you just looked, like, really lost. And, like, you didn't know how Thank to, like, you, jump in. But I still think, like, when you were with Mika, you did really good. And I thought it your character was cute. Chat. I saw you jump on the table, like, in front of, like, J-Rose, but it was just, like, amongst, like, everyone, you know, there's a ton of, like, really good RPers, like, we're in, like, top 15 range now. I just feel like, you know, I think you got nervous, is what I'm saying. I just like the fact that there was a feud. It was a I personal, it was more of like a personal vote for like that, the experience feud between Mika and Lavender Bunny. I like feuds. I like arguments, which just kind of came out of nowhere. I thought it was cute. I saw it too. I'm a conflict I it was RP. Really cute. No, it is legitimate feedback. It is good feedback. That makes sense. I could understand from your perspective. See, just like I said, every time I saw Firo, he he would just say like a random vulgar thing and walk away. You know? You just caught me at a bad time, Rob. I might have caught you at a bad time, and that's that's part of that's part of doing this stuff is that 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 happens sometimes, right? It'll be fine. Yep. They left. It was It'll a terrible fine. character, I'll though. I'm be honest. <laughs> I mean, that's part of competition. Is you have to be able to handle feedback. It's rough, you know. Crack rocks the entire time. And and just because like one person had a certain perspective of them, you know, the, it could have been that they caught him in a bad time or whatever. It'll be fine. Why are you angry? Where's the tail, Robert? I disable it so people can see my butt. Where is it? Hello, Flimsy. I'll put it on, all right? Heck I'll put the tail it on. out, Robert Malecki. I'll put it on. I'm sorry, I got distracted by a tiger, okay? I like blacked out. I okay, keep doing it. I became distracted. Yeah. Tigers are exotic animals. Naturally distracting. <laughs> Holy shit, a lot of people are requesting. Put the tail in. girlfriend, huh? Before you, before you were if you wanted what? to get a different perspective from like lobby or something, you could have everyone else do a lobby only Google vote based on the people who are in it and see what they felt like being that inside be it and like working around other Ooh, people. Good. That could be Spicy. fun. I should have actually done that. If you'd like. Just do it mm -hmm. in VR chat crew. Like, I mean, you can still do it. People would just vote for who they, uh, who they liked. They might be a little influenced, but it's probably fine because I had some crazy uh synergy moments with people like xcon and chi chi were both like super good to play off of i thought they were super awesome and then i thought xcon uh, really Mika, good obviously. today same uh it's I'm tough here. it's I'm tough here. to do these competitions because it, you can't see everyone at once which makes it impossible to make like a fair assessment on everyone right like so, which is why like 
something that Faye saw might be something that I didn't see, for example, right? And something I saw might be something oh, that Faye you. didn't see. Like, that's just how it works, you know? It's, it's okay, tough. I always see you. Oh, God, thank you. I already explained what we're doing. Oh, if you mean everyone else. Oh, tomorrow's boys' night, by the way, because we did get enough subs earlier this week to do boys' night tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. So, guys, we all the each other, all the all the boys that want to hang boys. out, we got to find a map to hang out on boys' night tomorrow. Uh, anyone that wants to dance and be sexy, me, we need you for boys' night. All right, we need we need you guys to be sexo content for us for boys' night. Uh, we really yep. appreciate it. Uh, in return, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. will simp for you guys we immensely. Boys. We will cheer for you. It's, all right. Uh, nope. It's a great. It'll be nice. It's a great time ready, boys. For us boys. Yep. What is boys' yep. night? Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah. We're all gonna gather tomorrow, night find a nice ever. big hot tub, and watch a bunch of people dance half naked. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. Woo! Oh, boys, boys, boys. 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 my face. As much yeah. as I love boys, boys and no girls I guess. No girl I mean, they also like pussy, I suppose. No, 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 no. Girl dancers are wildly accepted. Yeah. Here, yes, girl. Yes, yep. girl dancers yep. are great. <laughs> so, uh. uh when is the Lisa date? So the Lisa date and the Mori date are going on at the same time. By the way, guys, Listen, you guys have I, gifted I a lot of subs this week, but you guys so haven't gifted them this, towards this people. So literally anyone can win. Like if if anyone gets like twenty subs, it's over. What are the totals? Come on, yeah, I don't have day. any. I literally don't score. have any. Oh. I literally do not have <laughs> any. Okay, so it's a free fall. There was there was there was a couple people there was a couple people that gave subs for Mori, but that was it. But Mori can't even do a date for like two weeks, and Mori already is a winning. So like, literally anyone can you. fucking win. Otherwise, we have to do two with Mori. Defect with the fiver. Someone said they gave one for Groovy. Hello. Yeah, I think. Hello. Uh, so yeah, no. German, German history for music for girls' night. <laughs> How can we automate it? How can we automate that? Yeah. What's the best way to do that? Crazy. You gave your sub to Lisa today. Can Lisa come closer? Five. Okay, well, Defect has five, okay? With a fucking idle home date. Defect. Five. Alright? Defect dates in the game. That could be really good, dude. That could be really good. That was good, bro. I like the Alex Jones tonight. That's pretty fucking funny. Thank you, man. So, Mori has nine. Groovy. I don't even know how much Groovy has. Like, five? And Defect has five. Maybe five, actually. She has at least one, I should say. Yeah, Groovy has at least There's one. Really Joe Rogan one, but I don't. So have a Joe if Rogan you guys, answer, honestly, guys, if you if you the, the week <laughs> ends in an hour and a half, you have an hour and a half if you want to try to ship someone to win uh, this this current date. All right. Hopefully, it'll be someone that could actually do it next week. I don't, the the Mori and the Lisa one are gonna happen at the same time, which will actually be ultra content. Wasn't your thirteen for LB? Was it? I don't know. Who is LB? Lavender Lavender Bunny? Bunny? Lavender Bunny. Oh, Bunny. did you have 13? Okay, well, when you tell me what? LB, oh. I don't know who the fuck LB is. Please tell me full uh, names, uh, okay? B. To me, to me that's LeBlanc from League of Legends. Okay. How's it feel? <laughs> okay, then, then Lavender Bunny has 13, which makes Lavender Bunny technically in the lead, okay? Viking Vol, who do you want to put your 10 towards? That's a big one. For Ash, okay. I'll put one for Ash. All right. If we if I do one with Ash, it'll be on Twitch. All right. Cool. Did you guys have fun tonight? At least. I'm sorry for the guys for everyone that oh, got eliminated. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was, it was, I, awesome. I, it was, it was good. VR, it was good just... RP overall. Tonight was a really good night. Yeah. I really discount. Man, I'm giving you the benefit kind of, of doubt. You did really yeah, good I tonight. I actually thought you were top 15 material tonight. <laughs> but I agree. That's just how competitions work, right? Uh, there's always, bro. There's so many times I watch like Ink yeah, Master or something, and I look at some guy. And I'm like, that's the best fucking tattoo I've ever seen. And then they'll get a lemon. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm distracted. Mwah. Thank you so much. Gah. But yes. Uh, hey Rob, can you look at Merc? I need to see something. I'm looking at them. What do you? God damn it, dude. That's a very revealing bikini, okay? Is that what you're looking at? CC by mute? Hey, man. It's good content. Alright, fuck you, Lone Wolf. 
Harem King? It's not a harem. We're all hanging out, dude. We're in a circle. They're just listening to me because I'm streaming. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I have to talk. Hanging out, that's for sure. Okay. Jay. Like, I kind of have to talk. Yep. Harem Arc 2? I proved you wrong with my shit post. No. The harem is for off stream? That's Vray. You guys are talking about Vray. I don't have any friends. Hi, Sudden Dawn. That's a that's a, my friend that I made at DJ night. Do you want to introduce yourself? I don't have any friends. I don't think so. He just uh, me? Yeah. Come introduce yourself. I met them at DJ night. Hey, go. Oh, I remember. What's him. up? I'm crazy Asian. <laughs> Ching Chong. They're crazy Asian. All right. <laughs> There we go. Especially when <laughs> drunk. Are you drunk right now? Listen, listen. No, I am not. <laughs> Already canceled. Yeah, is that racist? Can you say that? Maybe don't use that terminology. You're like an Asian Zizix. That's so sick. Yeah, yeah. I guess they have the card. Yeah. She has the card. Oh, yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I could say, can I say what's the first fucking thing you ever said to me? It was pretty interesting. Can, can, like, can I, can I tell chat what's the first thing you ever said to me? Uh, I was trying to say your name. No, 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 no. A after that, actually. It was, uh, hold on, I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna mute my mic on stream. Yeah. It has some sweat in it. I hope you like it. Hey, Mr. Rubbers, you can't say this. Sure, sure. Oh, God. Yeah, you can talk about it. Okay. She, <laughs> she comes up to me. And I forgot what she asked me. But I was like, uh, something about cock. I, I, I was talking about not liking cock. And then she comes up to me and goes, what about a nice big food of cock? What about a, a girl with cock? And I was like, no, 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 I'm not interested in food of cock. She's like, what if she's got nice big fat tits? And I was like, I'm sorry, no. And then she, she goes, oh, I don't like cock. I don't like cock, period, okay? Damn. I'm sorry. No, that's one of the cool things I learned. What, food of cock? He doesn't like me. Don't fuck around in this I mean, I, I like... Oh, cool interesting. I can like someone with a food of cock, I just don't like the cock itself, you know? Before boys night, dog? Oh. If there's a cock, it's blowjobs only. That's the rule. Like, it's gotta stay... Wait, what if they just wore, like, underwear? Is that, like, good enough? Like, a 10 out of 10 girl, but she's just wearing underwear to cover her dick. Are you like, alright? Yeah, I'm cool with that, yeah. I'd take a blowy from that, sure. Okay. Would you do anal if she just held her dick and balls up so you didn't, like, have it slapping against you? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't. I don't do a lot of anal in general. Uh, miss it out. I've never successfully done anal. I've attempted anal Wait, twice and failed. The 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 S and the O. The um. O. What? You can say anything that's not like racist or derogatory. What? <laughs> Oh, oh, what? what about go with strap on? Oh, you can say strap on. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get pegged. Uh, yeah. I don't want to get pegged if that's what you're asking me. I don't want anything in my ass. Oh, what's pegging? For someone to peg you. Um, pegging. Uh, it's like uh, when when you your friend uh, you, you, and you play with uh, uh, toys like like action figures kind of you know. And they make you feel good. I love playing with toys. Yeah. Do you play with toys, Mr. Rummus? Uh, I'm not really into them. I've kind of outgrown them. I'm gonna be all alone. They're usually alone. Yes again. Oh fuck! Thank you for telling me. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just enable That's that forever, the dynamic of PS thing. What if you did, uh, what if XQC called you on Discord and he goes, listen, rub, rub, like full on XQCing, right? And he goes, I'm willing to host you every day for a week, but I need to peg you every night after the raid. No. Are you like, yeah? No, really? Okay, what if it was one night? I would do it. I don't want Felix fucking pegging me, man. 
Okay. Hmm. How about this? What if Jeff Bezos, owner of Twitch and Amazon, comes to your door, he knocks on it, and he says, listen, I won't tell anyone, but I'm wearing a strap on and I'm willing to give you $10 million right now if you let me peg you. Oh, easily. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Okay. Yeah. What if it was $1 million? For one, for one time getting pegged? Yeah. He's really good at the bartender. He's really funny. Okay, what if he came up to you and offered $500,000? Yeah. Uh, yeah, how big is the strap on? Oh, uh, yeah, that's like right up your alley. It's like six inches. <laughs> uh, nine inches. That's big. Okay. Yeah, nine is. I think they're really big. It's not nine. It's too much. I've tried. It's not too much. Jeff Bezos isn't as bad. Jeff Bezos isn't as bad because, like, I don't know him, right? But if it was someone I know, it'd be weird because then I'd have to, like, live with knowing that that person pegged me. But he's like a billionaire anyway. So, yeah, you know what? I'd do it for 500 grand. Okay, what about this? What's the lowest amount of... Okay, better question. If someone you know had to peg you, who would you prefer it to be out of everyone you know? Can it be a girl? A mom. Yeah, uh, anyone. Probably, more, probably, any, probably any girl I'd be okay with, but... You were about the same girl? Really? It's so interesting. Yeah, um, but guys, what but for money, factor? right? You wanna join our, uh, yeah, sure. Player. I mean, I, I'm not uh, looking at them. What was that one thing you were about to say? You about to say a name for a second? I wasn't about to say a name. I heard it too. Okay. I wasn't about to say a name. Okay, lowest amount of money, it has what was to that be name you know. said, What's the amount and the person? Huh? What's the lowest amount of money you do it with to get pegged one time? And it has to be a guy and someone you know. I wasn't saying Maury, I was saying something else, but yeah, I would let Maury do it. But anyway, um, let me think. Okay, so a guy, uh, let me think. Okay, Robert Malecki. Uh, I can't think of any dudes I would, uh, like, no one I know. It can't be someone I know, because if I ever hung out with them, I would just be embarrassed. <laughs> Like if it's a it's girl, okay if a girl does it, but if it's a guy, like if it's, it's like a different. girl, if it's, <laughs> it's a funny. girl, like I can like, I can like assert dominance back, right? But if it's like a dude, like that dude emasculated me, like I I'm fucked, like I can't. I think I did a little bit with you. That is so funny. That's so interesting. It's like uh, it's like the Romans or like Aristotle and stuff. Like if you're fucking a guy, it's not gay. But if a guy fucks you, you're like. Ooh, wow, I'm his bitch. Like, that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't want to be someone's bitch. Like, uh... Nah, I can't- I wouldn't be able to let Turwig do it, dude. Uh, Femboy Link, I would just fuck. Like, Femboy Link is like- that's like my dream. So, if it was a guy, it'd have to be one you don't know for money. No one you know is a guy for any amount of money. Even, like, a lot of money? Okay, how much money, like, are we talking here? For, like, ten million dollars for one time? Sure, I just would never talk to that person again. <laughs> I was gonna say Turtwig, so sorry Turt, I guess he's not talking to you again, that's funny. <laughs> like, okay, oh my goodness. if it's 10 million dollars, then yes, Turtwig can peg me, but I would never talk to Turtwig again. Like, I would feel too emasculated. I'm so stoked. That's so interesting, oh my goodness. Wait, can, okay, okay. <laughs> counter offer, okay? Can okay. I be on top? I wonder what's the next RP gonna be about. Like, you're a power bottom? Like, you're controlling the situation? Yes. Can I yeah. be on yeah, top? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, then I do there it for is less. Dominant that get paid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got her figuring this out. It's like scientific. We're narrowing down the like. Mr. Holmes, what if he dies? I just saw Ray take out a loan. Yeah, that's what okay the then. Yeah. If they die, then it's okay. Then I don't have to worry about it, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I take it to the grave. <laughs> yeah. Um... Let me see. For Turwig, if I'm dominating Turwig in this pegging session, right? Like, I fucking have Turwig mm -hmm. pinned fucking down, then the least I would do it for is a million dollars. That's the least amount? Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's so interesting. What about 950,000? Yeah, I'd take 950,000. What about just 900 though? Yeah, I'd probably I'd probably go down to 750. Like I would pawn star it a little bit. I'd go down to 750. What about 740? <laughs> no, I mean, no 740 is almost as much. Oh, nice. Uh, I think I'd probably do literally anything for five to ten thousand. I think I'm a cheap slut. 
black suit, you know. See you later, almost. Luminara. If it's not like a crime or you did good someone, today too. Then I'd probably do it. You did really good too. Yeah, if it doesn't hurt Congrats. someone or myself, then I'd probably do something for five to ten. Or if the size of the strap on decreases. The whole idea is like, man, I find butts, buttholes so gross. Like people shit from there, dude. They're like that's your shit box, man. Like, well, like the reason with anal is because it's the rectum and then where the poop mute. is. So it's like the area between where you're fucking. If you just do an enema, it's super clean. Like as much as anything else. Y'all are twins. They look, look at you this. Piss from your dick. Back. Yeah, but I don't. I would rather get piss on me than get shit on me. I'm up here, shot. <laughs> poop shit. dick. Poop dick. Chat, would you rather step on piss or step on shit? You'd always rather step on piss. Hey, uh, like, like, who cares? All right. Oh, my cable's all tangled. Do you want a tea for a tea? Yeah, of course. So, so, like, yeah, I don't want fucking... Dude, if I fucking looked down and there was poop on my dick, and I could, like, smell it, I would throw up instantly on my cock, and then there'd be puke and poop on my fucking cock. And then what am I gonna do with that? Here we go. I'm pretty sure people clean it like, uh, I don't know, like in my country. I know from my friend, right? Because I have I like some of them that. Uh... Sorry. They just crashed. It's not going anywhere else now. She's dead. Yeah. Rest in peace, I guess. Lamau. Oh, well, she brought up good conversation at least before she crashed. That's true. She seems nice. Maybe a little racist, but, you know, nice. Well, is it racist if it's your own culture? I don't know. Question for someone smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess you can be racist against your own culture. There's different types of Asians. Yeah, sure. But is like one, like, is, is, is what they said, like, derogatory against, like, a different type of Asian than they are? I don't know. I don't know. I'm staying out of it. I'm yeah. Polish. Yeah, leave that to leave that to other people. <laughs> yeah. I'm black and Zizix is racist. Think of Uncle Ruckus. True. That's a fair point. <laughs> is it okay? Question. Though. Genuine question. Okay, this is not me baiting. Genuine question. Is it racist, okay. technically, technically racist, if you don't know that it's racist? Like, if you just say it because you think it's a thing. Like, is it technically racist if you don't know it's racist? Uh, yeah, but it's just I think the, the act is racist, what they're doing is racist, but if they don't know it, then the intention isn't. And so if they just, like, if someone corrects it, then it's like, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ignorant racism! Like, I feel like that was an ignorant thing. Like, I don't think that was fundamentally racist. I think it was more ignorant, right? Yeah, I mean, fundamental racism is intent. Uh, doing it without knowing about it is just, like, ignorant, I guess. I don't think that's racism. Well, it is, but it's not. Oh god. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what's up, dog? You need 750,000 dollars to fuck me? Is it that bad, man? Okay, like, 750,000 will put you set, make you set for life! <laughs> no, not, not in today's economy. Yeah. Throw it in the stock market. <laughs> in the last two days. What if the stock market crashes? Well, then you, you gotta fuck me again for another 750,000 dollars, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> Every time you come into her twig, you get 750k. Okay, so let game. me ask you, right? For me to fucking yeah. peg you, I mean, like, literally fucking dom the fuck out of you, choke you, slam you down into the fucking ground, and just brutally annihilate you, what would be the least amount of money you would take? Or did you, like, buy a model and kind of, like, fix it? Bro, pay off my college. Like, grand, and, and we're good, you know? That is bullshit. You would do it for if you offered you 10k, you'd do anything. That's true. I'm broke as shit. Yeah, like ten thousand dollars. What about twenty five dollars? No, five thousand dollars. What about nine thousand five hundred dollars? Seventy five. Yeah. Okay, I would do ninety five hundred. Okay, what about nine thousand? <laughs> this is how you really find out what something's worth. You just keep going down. <laughs> Well, it's because the difference between 10k and 95 is so little, and then you just keep incrementally moving it. It's, so, yeah, it's like a psychology K. thing. And then eventually you're doing it for like 50 hey, what bucks. About like 7, <laughs> like, yeah. just, like, well, that's the thing, right? 
there's a psychology to money offering for things where uh, they did like a science experiment where people were they were asked how much they do something and then they would be presented with a tenth of the money like ready to go in front of them and they'd immediately do it because having the money actually there everyone's price goes down by like 90 percent like only a second cock for 20 bucks yeah. and you're like wait what happened true yeah this is how it works no i'm 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 standing okay we found this is out how it is eight thousand eight thousand is my my rock bottom he goes for five bro no way <laughs> Yeah, what if I bought you dinner okay. first you and we had? What if I bought hours. you dinner first and we had like a nice night together? Uh, what what does that bring the price down to? <laughs> all right, all right, fine. All right, all right, seventy five hundred. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, there's like there's factors in here. What if we hung out for like a Did week and, and got to know each other and like had like like really good chemistry? Shit. Okay, sixty five hundred. <laughs> What if like your parents really liked me? I'm a 64. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 5,000. You guys like game together, league? <laughs> yeah, we're playing league every day together. Free. I'm feminine up, you know? Shit, we got... <laughs> yeah, we get to diamond together, bring it down to like 4,500. <laughs> alright, alright, get a room, you two. <laughs> I really believe Turtwig would let you unironically fuck him for like two thousand dollars. Like, I think that's a solid minimum. <laughs> I think a crumpet is projecting, and they just want so. me to want you to fuck me. I don't know why. What if? Okay. What if I offered you two thousand dollars? to suck me off under a blanket. Like, I was really down bad. I was like, bro, here's 2K. Go under this blanket and go to town. Uh, okay, how... Uh, there are some factors here. There are some factors here. Two like, completions. How long is this gonna take? And how long is it gonna take? Well, that depends on you, depends dog. On you. <laughs> Listen, I'm not that difficult. My God. All right, then later, all the uh, two grand. That's a lot of money, dude. That could, that could give me a new PC. Yeah, I do two grand. About like right, 1900. Okay, okay, man. No, two grand's my, my minimum, my absolute bottom. All right, now let me ask you a question, okay? 1995. <laughs> okay. Dude, we're going to complicate things, okay? All right. Yeah. You have to suck me off, okay? But however, there's okay. a twenty percent chance that you get a million dollars and an eighty percent chance you get nothing. No 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 sorry sorry. There's an eighty percent chance you get nothing and a twenty percent chance you get a million dollars. But you have to suck me off. Okay. Well, he'll just suck you off five times, it's guaranteed. I feel like, you know, it's a one-time offer, right? This is like a one-time yeah. thing, and then I get what like a... What if you could keep doing it? Time. <laughs> Alright, so here, here okay, let me counter-offer. What if... Okay, what if you could keep it, doing it, but the, like, the probability goes down. Oh, shit, every time I do it, and then it goes yeah. down by a percent. Yeah. This is complicated. What if, what if every time, no, 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 what if, what if it's a one-time thing, it's 20% for a million dollars, and then the other four options, instead of nothing, I get, like, a nice dinner or something. So, like, I get something oh, out of it. No, 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 that's not interesting to me, okay? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it even Shit. crazier, oh, okay? Okay. What if, this one's really weird, but it's funny, okay? <laughs> You have Alien. one hour, okay? I'm tied to a bed. You have one hour to make me come. If you succeed, you get a million dollars. If you fail, you die. You literally die. Would you take the deal? Oh, yeah, 100%. You really yeah, think yeah, you could? Well, there's no loss here. Like, you only get a million dollars every day, so then that's shame. Exactly. Like, realistically, if I'm like 45 minutes in and I just know it's not gonna happen, I just like stop trying. Just like, so how you been, man? And then just like have a nice talk for like Eleanor, 15 Eleanor, minutes. Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. <laughs> Instead die. of dying, the entire recording of the session gets posted on mine. Oh, if he fails. <laughs> That might be worse than death. And your family sees it. When I die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So, so here's the situation. And then you die. If, if, 
if I make... <laughs> okay, so it's either I make you come and I get a million dollars, or I don't make you come. My family watched me try to make a six foot eight Polish guy who's <laughs> strapped to a bed come for an hour, <laughs> and, then I, and then I kill myself anyway, because I watched that. So it's like, There's no downside. There's no downside to trying, because you're going to kill yourself anyway. So you should just do it. Yeah, yeah, I, I would do it, yeah. All right. Crumpet, would you for take that hour? deal? There's no way. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm cheap as hell. But you die. Like, you literally die if you fail. I know I can make you come. In an hour? Yeah, I mean, I it takes yeah, you usually like need five an hour. minutes. Long time. There's no way I wouldn't be able to make you come. A hundred percent. It'd be so easy. Okay. Now, let me let me make the deal more interesting, okay? <laughs> Wait, all right. More interesting. Listen. No, no, no. This is not going to be a sexual one. All right. I tell you that I could run a mile. I, I think I can confidently run a mile in 20 minutes. Okay. And I tell you this, Turwig. I'm like, Turwig, I can run a mile in 20 minutes. That's easy. Okay. So I tell you, okay. If I run this mile in a in uh, in 20 minutes, you get a hundred thousand dollars. If I fail, you die. Would you trust in me? <laughs> Would you take that deal? Okay, are you- do you also get so, like, do you have incentive to actually do it or like, do you have no incentive? Like, I you're mean, you're gonna, gonna die if he doesn't, you don't think that's incentive enough? I- I care <laughs> I mean, about your you life know. and I'm like, bro, I got you, don't worry. Yeah, I would- I would take it, I would take it. Cause, Cause, Cause you know, something could happen, like a fucking car might hit me, like there's a chance that something might go wrong and you're you dead. You have a heart attack, mid. Well, what yeah, is that's true. Walking, the well, I have blood pressure issues, so like you could be running really fast, you might have a heart attack. It's a mile, it's a mile outside, I do have to cross roads and like get, walk on the sidewalk, you know? Like, that's the, that's the flip well, side, like right? The sidewalk yeah. makes you run slower yeah, as there's well, RNG. so you'd be fucked. But it's, a, I mean, mm. it's one I mile. It. It's not that bad. And, I, and keep in mind, I walk almost every single day, right? So I do walk. Yeah, you could almost, you could almost walk a 20 minute mile. I think if you walk, it's probably like 25 minutes. You just gotta I'll get a, power like a couple it. jogs in there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I, I would trust you. Would you take that deal? I try. Is this current you? Yeah, current me. Okay, so I googled it and it says in a 19, 2019 scientific study, it takes the average person 15 to 22 minutes to walk a mile. So if yeah. walking is like in that range, then yeah, I'd probably do it. Yeah, if you walk every day, yeah, I'd do it. But if I fail, Plus you die. Plus you're less fat than you used to be. It's $10,000. Yeah. For 10000 yeah. I die. I, at least yeah. I'm on the wall, you know, that's all I need. That's all I need. Well, yeah. No, it's $10,000. There might be two. Ten, I get ten thousand dollars and if I, if you... I, like okay what if if I make it you get ten thousand dollars if I fail you die oh man that's tough I think you do it like I have a 95 percent chance to get it but I also don't want to die I would say it's more okay so I had this deal right okay so so here's the deal right Okay. Uh -huh. I bet you that I could walk to my bathroom. Okay. All right. All right. Flush the toilet and come back. Okay. If I succeed, you get ten dollars. If I fail, you die. Okay. But all I have to do is walk to the bathroom, flush my toilet, and come back. That's literally it. Okay. Would you take that deal? No, I don't think I'd do it. I think it'd be too, like, the risk is way too you high. You don't think <laughs> like, I could fucking make it to the bathroom to flush the toilet? Like, there's no know, way bro, I would fail you that. Leave, like, you get distracted very easily. What happens if you're, like, you're walking somewhere and then you're like, oh, fuck the dogs. Oh, they shit on the floor. There's jalapenos everywhere. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, my God. I, I know it. I am, oh, my God. I am literally, I, I am trying to flush that toilet like it is my life fucking duty. Okay, like I know the deal. I'm trying my absolute hardest to succeed. It. Like, right now, my whole purpose in life. Sorry, what'd you say, Jufa? Like the toilet breaks, can you go to another one? Well, if the toilet, all I have to do is press down the flush toilet button. Okay, if it breaks, then I, I failed.
<laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't okay, know. let's bring it up to I mean, 50 like bucks. 50 bucks if I succeed, you die if I fail. It's like a 99.9% .9 chance that this is going to work, right? And I would like do it, Mr. Wellness. Involved. But the fact that I could die is like way too high a risk assessment for $50. I don't think I'd do it because I'm like, even if it's a 0.1% chance, it's still like way too risky. All right, 100 bucks. <laughs> 100 bucks. Okay, well, a hundred dollars. No, I still wouldn't do it. I, I, for that's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to die, so I think I'd have to decline. Like, I wouldn't do it for money. Okay, so you would bet ten thousand dollars that I could fucking make that 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 I could make a mile in twenty minutes, or you die, but you wouldn't take a hundred that I could literally just flush the toilet right next to my fucking room. Well, that's ten thousand dollars. That's different. Man. Right? Turwig. Turwig. Fucking 20 My bucks that I could go flush low, that man. toilet and come I'm back, bro. <laughs> Your life is on the line. That shit every day you know I'm gonna I'm succeed. Like, there's no it. way I'm gonna fail, dude. What if he dies? What if something happens? Even if it's a 1% chance, it's so dangerous. Think about how many times you flush the toilet in your life and how many times it's malfunctioned or you, like, slipped and hit your head or something. Like, the percent has gotta be so low. I mean, it's super Super low, but it's like you're, you're, you're you could just die. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me ask you a question. I want you to make a rough estimate. If okay. I, all right, there's infinite alternate universes, right? All right. Let's just say, in one billion alternate universes, I have to go to the bathroom, flush the toilet, and come back. In how many of those one billion alternate universes do you think I fail? I failed this task. I mean, probably a super small number, maybe like a couple thousand, maybe like you think five to ten. You think there's a even a you think there's a chance that I might not be able to flush that toilet right now in the in other room. billion in a billion. I feel like, OK, I feel if you I asked you to do the same task a billion times, no one can do it right every single time. I feel like eventually you would just fuck it up somehow just based on probability due to human error right even so if it's, it's a really simple time. task like if i asked you to like hard, if i asked you to like press a button like a billion times what do you right? mean i could have Eventually, a heart attack sometimes here's my counter I argument mean, to the heart attack argument options right if i was gonna get a heart attack why would i not just get it on the first try like why would why would one attempt all of a sudden my heart's like oh fuck uh, now suddenly everything's What's fucking ability right like, just if you, in a long enough probability, everything happens. So if you just, like, go long enough, then you're guaranteed for to fail eventually. I don't know. In daily, I heard that word. Like, people call me that word. I, I like, truly just can't believe. Be 100%. I believe that if I had a billion opportunities to go to the bathroom, flush the toilet, and come back, I would not fail once. <laughs> we, uh, we'll just have to scientifically test it. I think, Turtwig, you're just going to have to keep flushing the toilet over over and over until you hit a billion flushes. Yeah, but like, they're not okay, okay, then let me ask you this, okay? There's a like light when, switch right okay. next to me. I can literally like click it sitting that? down, like, okay? Like I'm clicking it up and down. <laughs> if I had a hundred okay. trillion <laughs> fucking alternate universes of me just clicking this fucking light switch, how many times do I fail? <laughs> At least a couple. Like, there's got to be some way wow, to fuck it up, right? Wow, it's literally impossible. It's right next to me. Like the bulb. Yeah, but think about the probability of it. Like anything could happen. The bulb doesn't matter. The bulb does not matter. The only thing that matters is that I press the light switch. That's the only thing that matters. I just have to push the light switch. Button. What's a, okay? What's the fail state? Like, if you try to go for it and you slip and miss it, or you fail, or like I can't even if you just randomly because I don't have to move. Over. I could click it without anything. The fail is I, the the button does not get pressed. That is a fail. The button. It never gets pressed oh, by me. It's cool. Okay. Well, it'd probably be really low in that number, but there probably would be a number of ones in which there was some random, like, cosmic confluence that just results in you just, like, not being able to press it for some reason. Like, maybe you have early onset dementia or you have a cramp and you fall out of your chair and hit your neck and die. Like, I don't know. An airplane crashes into your house and kills you instantly. Like, I don't know. A sun flare consumes the earth. Like, I don't know. There's always something, right? You make, you yeah. make movies on the side too, right? Why the fuck is a sun flare hitting the earth? Don't laugh at me.
Why would in a we million alternate universes, a trillion universes. alternate universes, something's gonna happen to prevent you from hitting that switch? Don't make me my edge. It would be a possibility where the Earth just explodes. Uh, yeah, it's but, oh, no. I really enjoy the green. Oh, man. Yellowstone picks that exact moment right before you flip it to go off and like. But is that how probability would work? Like, is that even? Basically, yeah. I mean, the chances are really small, but if you extrapolate along a line long enough, you just like. Just everything happens, eventually. Yeah, I think we can call each other. Get here. I'm getting harassed. It's an interesting to think I'm about sure things. We went, we went pretty intense with that. All right. Yeah, so how much is, uh, are you pegging Turtwig for? <laughs> or is he pegging you? Where's Gullibus? Trumpet, five bucks that I press this light switch next to me. It's literally right next to me, or you die if I fail. Five bucks? Dude, there's no way I'm failing. You know I'm not going to fail. It's literally right here. Like, I could touch it at any moment. I know, but... You die if I fail. But... You take the deal. That's my life for five dollars. Like it's equating my life to a simple task for five dollars. I feel like I'm worth more, so I'd have to say no. Yeah, but you get five dollars. That's nice, but I don't want to die. Like the the risk is so minimal, but that it's there is just like it's too much for me. Okay, then let it. me ask you this: If you see a five dollar bill on the sidewalk, okay, but it's on it's it's okay. in the street, but it's not like there's no cars around. Do you grab that five dollars? Yeah, yeah, I would love to get involved. Yeah. There's a higher probability of you dying getting that $5 than there is me dying trying to press this fucking light switch. It's different. It's different. Because with me, I'm making the decision myself, and it's an autonomous thing. If I leave it in your hands, then my life is in the hands of someone else for a monetary value, and it's up to them to decide to do it. So it's just too dangerous. But if I'm in control, then it's different because I'm making the mistake. So you think, okay, so what if you were in my chair and then I gave you that same deal? I said $5 if you hit that light switch, but if you fail, you die. You would take it if it was you in control. No, I still wouldn't because that I, I don't trust make myself sense. enough. But it does. So you trust like... yourself to go into the street to pick up a $5 bill, but you don't trust yourself to press a light switch? Well, it's different because the threat of death is already present, whereas it's a hypothetical with the, with the car. Like, a car could hit me, but there's no guarantee I die. But you're presenting me with a situation in which an, it's, a, it's like an alternative. I die or this happens. It's one or the other. So I have to make sure it happens. It's, like, different. I would literally... Is there a light switch in your room? Uh, so yeah, I think so. There has to be. I would literally, I would literally take $1. I would make a $1 bet that you could press that light switch and if you fail, I die. Because I don't think it, you're going to fail to hit that light switch. I literally don't think But what think if I'm it's... walking towards it and I trip and I hit my face on the floor and knock myself unconscious and then bleed to death? What if that happens and then you die? Then I, then I lost a dollar and died. Like, that, that's it. Like, but I just don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> You're right. It probably isn't gonna happen, but it's still like that's your life. You gotta have like a higher value. Why even do it for a dollar? Yeah, like I think I think it's a difference in fundamentals, right? Because it's like it's it's pretty much a guarantee. Like there's there's almost no chance of failure. Like it's absolutely a guarantee. But it's also your life, and it's only a dollar. I feel like you should value it more, right? Like you could get more out of it. If it's just a buck, it's like I'm not gonna do that. Fuck it, I don't need a dollar. Okay, so let me ask you this question, okay? okay. Here's the next one, all right? All right. You can go to a steak restaurant. There's two steak restaurants. One is absolute dog shit. Like, the steak is fucking mid at best. Like, it's it, they always fuck it up. Or... You could go to the fanciest steak restaurant in the world, like fucking Gordon Ramsay will fucking come on your steak, like put like the nicest Sounds shit ever nice. on it, okay? But okay. the nicer place is in, in kind of a rough neighborhood. Would you would you go to the rougher neighborhood to get the better steak? See if it sounds really good. I'm like, does it sound good? How bad is the regular steak? And how rough is the neighborhood? <laughs> I don't know, I guess it depends. Like, is this a neighborhood known for like carjacking and it's like super dangerous or is it just kind of like rough and tumble like there's some homeless people? All right, so um, the really the really good steak is in like, uh, or the, the really shit steak is in like Austin, Texas. Like, you know, like whatever, right? 
Yeah. The really fucking yeah, top tier steak homeless. is on uh, O Block, 63rd Street. You know, 63rd Street, like fucking Chicago, like O Block. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. Is that like really bad there? It's kind of bad. Chicago. Okay. Well, there's a serial killer who only kills gay men in Austin, so I might have to go to O Block. So I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's one or the other there. But I guess. I guess I'd have to do. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Am I alone? <laughs> I wouldn't do it alone. I'd probably get the shitty steak. Uh, no, but if I was with people. Ah, yeah, definitely gotta go to Austin, because then I'd be worried about their well being. If I was with, like, two big buff dudes, I'd be like, yeah, okay, but those two little bitches are gonna get, like, killed instantly. Alright, you're with Vincent and Steven. What about Turtwig? Oh, easy. Easy going. I'm going to the big steakhouse. Steven's huge, and Vinny, I can hide him behind him. He's like, I only need to run faster than Vincent, and it's easy to trip. Okay. Yeah, I'd be tanky. I'm trying to like, it's so easy, to, it's so interesting to gauge like threat. Are you leaving Lichbait? Hey Lichbait, you actually did really good in RP today by the way. I was uh, I was impressed by how well you ran the kitchen, alright? Just letting you know. That reach past all of your mutes and I give you a kiss on the cheek. I uh, this... <laughs> Welcome back, Flinzy. <laughs> Bro, Vincent has been sitting here looking at Flinzy's, looking at Flinzy's ass with his little nubs out like this and then kicking his feet back and forth. <laughs> Her ass takes up 75% of my view. So okay. All I see is Flinzy's ass. He's just kicking his legs back and forth like a toddler. Here's my last hypothetical, okay? Okay. I got a package in the mail, alright? Amazon package, it's in front of my house, okay? I have to sign okay. for it, okay? okay? If I could successfully sign for this and bring it in, you get a thousand dollars. If I fail, you die. That sounds awesome. Do you take the deal? <laughs> Bye-bye. For you to sign for an Amazon package? I have to sign for an Amazon package. Well, like, you get a thousand dollars. Okay, for a thousand dollars? If I fail, you die. <laughs> To sign, there's, a, I mean, there's a lot that we well, don't know this Amazon delivery to, guy, to, to you know, me. maybe he's having a bad day today, you know, there's a lot of factors here, but that's true, then, get a thousand dollars on two different people to have an interaction. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah there, there's a whole other factor <laughs> no. here. No, fuck that, no, no way, even for a thousand, no way. Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> okay, no. If oh, I succeed, I, oh, ten thousand dollars. That's awesome, but I don't think I do it still. Cause so you man, think I have higher dying. odds? Over. You think I have higher odds mm -hmm. of of jogging, <laughs> to, uh, jogging a fucking mile under twenty minutes than I do signing an Amazon package and bringing it in? That's what you think. One hundred percent, I do. Amazon <laughs> is fucking unreliable. That's two people that I gotta rely on. That's one person versus two people, and Amazon's super unreliable. That guy's he's paying five minimum wage to answer. deliver packages. He's gonna walk up to your door, hit the doorbell, and be like, "Well, he didn't come." He wait five seconds, and he'll walk away, and I'll be like, "Oh, no, I'm no, dead. no, 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 no!" In this Fuck scenario, that. he's going to wait for me no matter what. Like he's waiting for me to open. Like I am going to interact with him. Okay, that's that. That is a. What if that, he's an asshole? That's not he realistic. He's, an asshole. he's on a schedule. Like, <laughs> like he could come. Like you could open the door and he'll be like, "Oh, look at this fucking slob." And then, or he could even say something like, "This guy's head is really big. I don't like him because I don't like big-headed people." Like he could have some random big-headed racism, and then he could just be like, eh, "Whatever." Okay. <laughs> or he just like doesn't like you for some reason. It's, let too, me, it's too dangerous. Let me let me change it. Okay. He wants okay. to deliver the package. Okay, but we don't know. Whether he has ill intentions or not, like whether he's having a bad day and wants to murder me or not, but he does want to deliver the package. In such a weirdly specific hypothetical. Okay. In this weirdly specific hypothetical, chances are you probably would sign it if he wants to deliver it and you want the package and you know that I die if you don't get it. So chances are, like, it's also really high chance. But because it's two people having to have an interaction for a specific thing, if, and if it doesn't happen, I die. I probably still wouldn't do it because. Like, adding another person is way too many, like, variables for something to go wrong. Okay, let me ask you this, okay? Let's say... Okay. Alright. So... I tell you... That's big. Mm -hmm. Bray is gonna ERP with someone in the next fucking six months, okay? That's the deal, alright? Highly Bray, likely. 
If mm -hmm. Ray ERPs with someone in the next six months, you get a hundred thousand dollars. If Ray doesn't, you okay. die. Do you take that deal? I would take that because I could just ERP with her and then I get the money. <laughs> I could just do it myself. True, you could. What if you, what if you cannot influence the ERP? Like Ray, like you, you cannot influence it in any way whatsoever. It's a six month time period, I get $100,000 and it's just if she RPs with one person once. Very yeah. flex a lot as far as I'm aware. So the chances are really good. Can I tell her about it? Oh, I can't no, influence you cannot it. influence it in any way whatsoever. You, you, you have to sit back. Yeah, and you can't wingman. Man. In fact, you can't even interact with Bray in this time in any way whatsoever. I'd probably not do it. Because what if Ray like, decided out of the blue, she's like, fuck, what have I been doing with my life? Oh, I've just I been European. This is so meaningless. Like, I don't know. That's like, that's a, I don't know. I, They're probably going to European tonight. Know. Just take the money. <laughs> it, it's like, you're right. But still, I, like, I could just say, I, for 100000 I probably would do it. That's a lot of money. But still, oh my gosh, that'd be so dangerous. I guess so. I guess I'd do it. All right. Last one. Okay. All right. That was the last one. What do you mean? No, no, no. This is the last, last one. I tell you that I think that mm. I can ERP with a thousand people in VR chat by the end of next year. Okay? If I succeed, you get two million dollars. If I fail, we both die. So my life is on the line too. Do you take that deal? Two thousand people. Uh, you can, can I help you? Not help me. No, you can't help me. If I can't help you, then I would say no. But if I could help you, I'd say yes, because I think they'd make a movie about us. <laughs> yeah, it's a thousand different VR chat people. Like that. That's uh, like Bilbo numbers. Okay. I think you'd probably be able to do that realistically. I think you could. But I'd want to be able to influence it. Is the not having control thing, I think, is what puts me off. Because if I can't, like, influence it, it makes me not want to do it. Yeah, orgies count, chat. Orgies count. And I can also hop on mute Smurfs. That's big. That's big. You're reformed? Yeah, I know you are, Bilbo, but this was like a fucking, like... This is like a figurative. Chat, how many of you guys would take that deal? How many of you guys would trust that I can ERP with a thousand people in a in, in a year and a month. A thousand different people is a lot? Yes, I know. But I'm trying my absolute hardest. I'm literally like fucking like, I advertise this shit. I'm like, hey guys, because I want to save my own life too. I'm like, hey guys, I need to fuck. Yeah, well, he, yeah, die. You'd probably do that. Hey. Like thousand is a lot though. Like you probably, no, don't, don't I don't know. I probably try to no, no, no. like knock out like 10 a day. Oh, yeah, get it done as soon as possible. <laughs> That's so interesting. Oh my gosh. What okay, is bonus round. With someone? Like, okay, all right, bonus round. Everyone, everyone in VR chat, okay, has a disease. And the only way to cure it is to okay. have literal sex with you, okay? How many people are you rescuing? Okay. As many as I can. I'd probably do it all day. <laughs> You just go around fucking everyone to save their life. Yeah, I think that's, I would. That's noble. That's very noble. So you yeah, fuck all I'd the women that. too, and they're mushy, gushy, <laughs> bushy. I just close my eyes because it's just VR. I just I do this and and I close my eyes. Great responsibility. I wouldn't want to let all my little girlfriends die. They're so nice. They're just. They, they, they can't help the fact that their pussies are dis disgusting. So I, I go like this and I just like, go ahead. <laughs> Alright, I don't have any more. I think that I, I think that was a good, like, figurative scenario session. Solid hypotheticals. <laughs> hypotheticals, yeah. I'd probably be willing to do a lot more stuff if it wasn't death. I think I'm like, I think I have a hard line with that, but like stuff that's lower on that would probably be like much cheaper. Okay, here, okay. Bonus round number two. Okay. <laughs> All right. You have 
15 minutes to make me come. If it fails, then the porn video of us goes to your family. Then I'm going to lead right into the DLC. But I do it. Yeah. if you succeed, oh, uh, there wasn't even money involved. You just do it. Oh, okay. I said it like <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you do it for free, then what the fuck, did, what the fuck does it need to be well, money for? I don't for? know. I feel like I could do it. Like, I wouldn't lose anything, I guess. <laughs> <You> just come. <laughs> I'm just a homie. What, what, what do I get? <laughs> Uh, it's ten bucks. <laughs> well, I, I I could do it. Yeah, I do that. It's pretty okay, funny. Yes. <laughs> Jalumpo, jalapeno. I'm gonna leave forever, Mr. Rumpus. You're leaving forever? Self reports up. Forever, one two. I see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to be the. Uh -huh. I think My favorite, Mr. Rums. Can I have a super cool Mr. Rums high five? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Hold on. Uh, the boxing side missions, you know? No. I did that in my first playthrough. I definitely had those first back. It's cool. Okay, goodbye, Jufa. Now I just want to play Cyberpunk. Goodbye, Mr. Wombus. Come on. Okay, who else is here? Sakura! Uh, all right, goodness. Sakura. Yeah, you you Here's the deal. Good. All right, okay, I think I'm a hundred bucks I mean, if I could go to my bathroom, flush my toilet, and come back. But if I fail, you die. Yeah, Do you take the deal? No. <laughs> Damn it, dude! You don't trust that I could do it? <laughs> It's not a trust mm, thing. I it's, think it's just the it's risk. It's too risky. Great. And thousand not worth a hundred dollars. Yep, I found. Thousand dollars. Do you know that I might die? So yes, I, I'm- no, no, no. It is my life goal to hit that light switch and come back- or to hit the fucking, uh, toilet- flush the toilet and come back. Like, I am trying my absolute hardest. Depending on- maybe. Maybe. Yeah, if you know and you can do it, maybe. I might take it. Then we can just ping you. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. We did a bunch of figuratives. I learned that Crumpet would suck my dick for free. Uh, uh, <laughs> even though there's risk involved. What, a hundred? I'm not gonna hit my head. Guys! Uh, any, I mean, what? I don't know. Anything under death, I'm super about. But Guys. I just don't do stuff that could kill me. Okay. How about this, okay? 50 bucks if I can flush my toilet and come back. But if I fail... Alright, if I fail... Every Discord oh DM God. you've ever had gets leaked. There's so many of me. I'm fine with mm, that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, that works. I do it. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I do it. Okay. Uh, what should we do? I have about like 20 minutes left that I wanted to stream. Oh, we have some RP trial video. Should we watch them? All right, let's yeah! get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do it. Yeah. Dude, when I, when I die about the stage, I dived onto my beanbag chair and I punched my wall. My roommate came downstairs and he told me to shut the fuck up because he thought someone was breaking into the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. He was really mad. You still have a roommate? Why don't you just get your own little yeah. place, huh? Right here, next door to me. I don't want to live alone. Ray's found a way to become the ultimate being. <laughs> Trips on one of the cats? No, I look out for the cats all the time. Alright, sorry. Responding to DMs. Message me. Okay, here we go. Sora was saying sorry that he couldn't show up. I was like, you're fine, dog. Like, every my single bitch. time I ran over to you, dude, you were just <laughs> dying. Guys, everyone here hit everyone. Everyone here hit everyone. Was it Mika? Really? Yeah. I don't know how. Probably due to the floor. One of you guys got in before me. I need every. Oh, wait. Okay. Good, good, good. 
Alright, let's see what RP trial videos we have today. Okay, hold on. Okay, we have three... Okay, the first person fucking DM'd me a, a list of rap lyrics. <laughs> but that's it. Are you gonna rap? Is it, a, no. is it at least a good song? Were they good? It's just rap lyrics. Like, they're nothing... I'll read it out loud. Uh. Instigator, populator, raffle on this gawk. Raffle on my hella chopper, yeah, later. Raffle my gator, yeah. please hop off this cock. Call me later. I got some notes I'd like you to hear. Cause honestly, the bore of the world would never let me hop off this heater. All I wanna do is stop, drop, and roll around this lot. Real talk, I wanna chill and drop off the okay, map. You can stop. Those are the lyrics you gave me. No, this. Well, they had a little bit of potential. You should have sang it. I don't think this person knows that it's not just like about rhyming. You need to like fucking. There needs to be syllables. Maybe, Maybe sound better with music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rhombi Mr. Rhombus Rotondus. Ruffle me gator. I like the lot and some of y'all a lot. No, this is awful. I'm sorry, you fail. Okay, uh, we'll go to the next one. Make a video. Why are we watching this? What is this? It is like the best movie of all time. Yeah. Barnyard. Like, that's right? Otis, dude. This is the best movie of all time. Yes. Gosh, it's XCON. <laughs> Actually, this is like Zizix used his Avatar 1 style Otis. If people remember that. That rap doesn't look like it would sound like that. That rat wouldn't be alive very long. He's so fat, he wouldn't be able to escape anything. True. Hey, hey Flinzy, like you want to? He's the most next. powerful anime character. You want to come lay on me? Oh, my back hurts so bad. Ooh. Epic. Why? No. Furry. I'm KX Ketsu, your neighborhood friendly furry, and I'm well, here I'm the RP tryout for the Golden Gator. Hello, Rom. Hello, everyone else. Here, we're gonna go oh. ahead and just go over a few things that I have done in my adventures so far. Okay. Our chat. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Quiet, you! It may just be my Uber Eats delivery. <laughs> oh. Bro, get that, that guy. He's dropping it down. Uber Eats driver? Well, I can't exactly be seen in public now, can I? And besides, I don't want anyone knowing that I enjoy Arby's. It's my biggest shame. Good, good. <laughs> now throw tomatoes at them. I know this play. This is hypnotism. We've done it eight times. Yes. Yeah, this is true. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Should I grab the broom master? He is literally furry discount. <laughs> yes. The game of guess the flavor of different macaronis. Like and then they could Grab switch places whenever he goes furry <laughs> mode. It's a True. dog on a jet ski. Like a werewolf. Hey everyone, it's justice time. Let's see here. Blah blah blah. That slob something, man guy's very active in his buggery. chat. It says the defendant is being charged weird buggery. What's that? I've never heard of it. And thus comes the end of my video. Thank that was it. So that was much the whole thing. Watching, guys. I appreciate everything. <laughs> All of your content is always fun to watch, but I'd really like to have the chance at a tryout to be a part of that content sometimes. If I can bring laughs, I'm mostly just a chill person who likes to hang out and make friends, so... Being able to do more RP and bring laughs sounds like a lot of fun to me. Thus, this is my tryout video. Once again, my name is KX Ketsu, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful time. Thank you again. Bye-bye.
That's a tough one for me. Why? Furries make you nervous? Does his app have a shirt? <laughs> yes, thank you. I feel like a lot. prey animal. <laughs> well, if that's the case, that is a yes for me. <laughs> okay, rating. Um, sorry. They all need like a. No, no you're good. Here, here, here's, here's, yeah. here's my mm. deal. Seems nice. I don't know a lot about that role play though. Uh, I would want to see a little bit more. Uh, I'll put them in the vouch channel and see what people say. I'll give them a chance through the vouch channel. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I don't know. It wasn't like anything crazy. Yeah, he can like, he can speak, which is solid. He's like capable of stringing together a sentence. <laughs> he is capable of string <laughs> stringing together a sentence. That's, that's the bar we're sitting. Yeah, he can speak. <laughs> Have you seen some of these videos? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna affirm maybe. I can't decide one way or the other. There was there was a thread about him already because he applied earlier, but I don't remember what happened in it. Let me look. I think basically people just didn't know who he was. Let me go look. Hold on. What's his name again? Uh let me scroll and look here. KX Katsu. Let me see. Okay, well, they close these fucking channels and delete them, so I can't look back and look. Oh, I see it. KX Katsu? Yeah. So, uh, three days ago, there's 17 posts. Okay, I'll look at that off stream. All right, we'll figure it out, KX. We'll let you know. We'll we'll have our people contact your people. Uh, next video is Why Knock City. All right. First Whoa, things that? first, boys. Fuck a homie. Ladies, fuck a homie. All the mutes out there hard carrying the stream. I see you. Fuck a homie. That's right. It's me, your boy, that old frog in chat, oh. Vliden Knox. Or you can call me Vliden or Knox or Vly Noxity, my VR chat name. Or you can call me Vly, whatever works. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take y'all back. And I mean way back. It was my senior year of college. Back then, I was a chips viewer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> that nuts and chips arc was fantastic. I absolutely adored that shit. That got me through college, I'm not gonna lie. I was the bad guy of that arc. I was so immersed. I could not distinguish between what was real and what was RP. I thought they were in love. I'm not gonna lie. I thought they was in love. And oh. this motherfucker Rob was trying to get between them at the time. Uh -huh. He was the most hated villain in VR chat. True. I hated this dude so much. True. So damn much. That one day I'd, I'd, I'd had enough. I'd, I'd had enough of this dude. I went into his stream just to hate watch him. Just to see what the fuck going on in this shit. I had to see it. And the whole time. This motherfucker was laughing. Now what? This dude was laughing the whole time. My goodness. But eventually, lesson. the chips and nuts arc was over. And I was still somehow watching Rob's streams. 
each RP he in the lobby went through had me immersed, entertained, and in tears. So every time I see a greenie or a first time chatter coming in all confused, wondering what the hell is going on, it brings me back. It reminds me of my younger dumbass self. Now here's what I want to do. I want to bring just a little bit of that back. Let's confuse all those first time V words in chat. I want to scare them little greenies. Not just physically, but their mental fortitude as well. They fucking deserve it. Daggone it, did I just spit in my fu- Alrighty gang, before I end <laughs> things here, I want to give a quick shout out to all my black brothers and sisters in the lobby. Yep, that's right, I may not seem like it or talk like it, but I'm actually a premium card holder myself. But don't you worry Rob, I'll keep it.